Right now on Newswatch 12 Today, tens of thousands of people visited Eagle River over the weekend to celebrate all things cranberry. We'll hear from some vendors at the popular Cranberry Fest. Plus, lots of sunshine and some warmer temperatures are in the forecast to start this week. All the details on some chillier temperatures arriving this weekend coming up. And an arts and crafts show, homemade soups and pumpkins will highlight the annual Three Lakes Pumpkin Fest this weekend. We'll have a live interview previewing the fire department's primary fundraiser. It's Monday, October 7th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Angela Kim here with Marissa Silvis. Watermelon infused craisins flew off the shelves this weekend and just one of the many cranberry themed items available at Cranberry Fest. Nearly 10,000 pounds of cranberries were sold at the popular festival. News Shell's Maya Reese has more on why 40,000 people came to the Northwoods to celebrate Wisconsin's state fruit. You know, it really is impressive just how many vendors show up to this event and how big of an event it really is for everybody in the Northwoods. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. I went last year. Unfortunately, I didn't get to make it this year. But, uh -huh. uh, but yeah, it's, it's an impressive event for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And it went through all kinds of weather this weekend. But it's, yeah. we're going to have nice weather today on this Monday, too. So for more on that, let's head over to our weather center with Tyler Moore. And Tyler, we're starting the week pretty nice, right? Yeah, pretty nice. Not only today, but that's going to continue as we start the first half of this week. Now taking you across the country this half hour, Ohio's governor plans to unveil new legislation today to address gun violence. Governor Mike DeWine's proposal comes on the heels of this summer's deadly mass shooting in Dayton, Ohio, which left 10 people in dead and 27 injured. The gunman, 24-year-old Connor Betts, was killed by police within 32 seconds of him opening fire in a popular downtown spot. Betts allegedly obtained body armor, a 100-round magazine, and a firearm accessory from a friend. And after the shooting, Governor DeWine spoke about expanding background checks, strengthening gun crime penalties, and increasing access to mental health treatment. The, the man States. accused of beating to death four homeless men in New York City's Chinatown faced a crowd of reporters as he was escorted out of a police precinct yesterday. You Randy Santos has officially been charged with multiple counts of murder, and Santos said nothing as he was put into a waiting car. Police say the 24-year-old murdered four sleeping homeless men with a metal pipe, and Santos was taken into custody Saturday and brought to a New York hospital for evaluation before being charged. Investigators say the attacks appear to be random, but an investigation is ongoing. We will enjoy that warm weather while we have it. Thanks so much, Tyler. Well, median household income hit an all-time high in 2018, but the good fortune was not distributed equally across the country. That tops our look at consumer news this morning. According More than to 125 all-new keepsake ornaments will make their first appearance exclusively at Hallmark Gold Crown stores and online at Hallmark.com over the weekend. Some highlights of the new keepsake ornaments include the first ever set of artist-crafted outdoor keepsake ornaments that are weather safe and shatter resistant. Peanuts themed ornaments and an interactive tree skirt, as well as Star Trek ornaments and tabletop decorations. The annual Hallmark Keepsake Ornament event runs through October 13th. 